Hi, I'm Bruce Justine with Seasoft Scuba, and I want to show you Seasoft's Quick Pack. And the Quick Pack to me is a little piece of magic for that little situation where you need it. Let's just say that, for example, you're on your boat, and and I know I've had this happen to me, and maybe it's happened to you, and you run across some rope or even a thick piece of kelp, and it winds up on your propeller, and you've got to get in the water and cut it loose. Well, I. The water's cold, and you've got a swell, and you're trying to go down a breath hold and cut that kelp or rope loose. Well, if you're trying to cut rope loose, it's always impossible while breath holding, especially if the water's cold. And you could be out there forever trying to get that rope off that wound around your propeller. And boy, if you've got the quick pack, you, you tie yourself to the boat, you jump in the water, and you've got air and you get down there, you've got both hands free and uh, away you go and you can do so much work. It's so much you can do because you're in the water with a with a, uh, the supply of air and there is a compartment back here for weights. You got everything you need for that. You can keep it in a Pelican case if you want to, a huge supply. Or let's say something else. Let's say you're like me, I'm a grandpa. And uh, I love going to the shallow end of the pool with my grandchildren and we just play and it's a blast to let my grandchildren try and do a little bit of scuba diving in four or five feet of water they absolutely love it and it's a blast for them it's safe it's easy um, they're getting to fall in love with scuba diving at a young age and uh, it's easy to wear easy to use under my direct supervision and i love it here's another thing i did i went to uh, monterey in a kelp forest and I did a 25 minute dive with 19 cubic foot tank of air in 20 feet of water through the kelp forest on a beautiful sunny day. The lights coming through the kelp forest. And it was magical. One of my most memorable dives and I just, I just loved it. And there was no, no big tank on my back. I didn't have a lot of weight on. It was just, it was just again, there's so many situations where you can just enjoy a 19 or 13 cubic foot tank We've changed it now so you can put a 30 cubic foot tank on here. You can put, you can put any size of tank on here. You can actually put aluminum 80 on here if you want to. They don't recommend it, but you could. Now, remember, there's no buoyancy to this thing. So you don't want to get in over your head. There's no use dying over trying to have fun or trying to do something that's silly. Always make sure you're tethered to something or make sure you've got skills. I dove in the kelp forest with a dry suit, so I had buoyancy. And I never went deeper than 20 feet, so I always had a means of getting out, uh, and I was experienced. But whatever you do, <clears throat> this is something that's designed to be you're in super shallow water, or you're tethered to the surface, and you've got uh, usually back up or diving with somebody. But let me show you how it works. At the front, you've got this strap. There's a release on either side, so it's easy to get out of it. Left hand, right hand, I can get out of it. It's got a it's got two shoulder straps with a chest strap to keep it in. <clears throat> I ditched the weights by pulling the rip cord. I just pull the rip cord at the back. It's going to pull the weights. I'll show you that in a second. It's got a fantastic lumbar support. It's got a handle for lifting it. Now I'll show you the back. At the back, underneath here is a compartment for holding weights. It'll hold up to 20 pounds of weights in the compartment. And again, I just have to ditch it and out come the weight. I'll show you what that looks like by dumping it, putting it down here. There's a compartment that holds the weight. When I pull the rip cord, it's going to release the cable along the bottom here. That will release the bottom, nothing to hold the weights, and the weights will just fall out like so. And you've got positive buoyancy. So you've got a, uh, a strap for the valve at the top you've got a valve strap I mean not a valve strap. valve straps up here you've got a tank strap here and you've got just an easy to use easy to maintain uh, lightweight system for getting in the water don't do something silly with it it's designed for shallow water or tethered use and um, have fun thanks for watching